Oh, mother, that's a boat. One by one, one by one. Careful, careful. <gasps> Whoa, in the center, in the center. Floating markets. Tilting. Scared. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the JP and Julia channel. We're here in Thailand, Bangkok specific, on a boat in a floating market. If you're curious how we got onto this boat, do check the card that's popping up right now, and you can see a whole video about this specific floating market that we're at. Now we're going to the Lotus Farm. Hopefully we'll get some fresh lotus seed to have. That's where we pick for the natural medicine. Oh cool, there's like a bean in there. Uh, it's bitter in the middle. Whoa, it is bitter. It's good for your liver? Yes. All right. Julia, eat one. I just pull it out. It's like a pimple popping channel. There it is. Ah! You look majestic. There you go, Jules. They got a turbocharged boat. With Nas. Uh oh. Yeah, that happened. Too fast, too furious. Oh, they're all on their phones. Alright, let's go. Alright, be careful. Do I grab something? Careful, careful. I'm just happy we made it. Look at all the fish, Jules. Oh my goodness. They're gonna make us capsize. They're gonna throw too much food in. I'm scared, Julia. So, this is an orchid farm or a lotus farm? Orchid. Do you know how many orchid species around the world? Do you want to guess? Um, 100. What about you, JP? Um, 237. Um, 70,000 cars around the world. Orchid can live up to 100 years. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Do you want me to hold your bag? Hello. I'm not scared at all. Um, uh, yeah, can I get a uh, two Big Macs, uh, two uh, large fries, and a medium Diet Coke? All right. And some toppings. Yeah. Uh, it, it is spicy, this one. Oh, it's hot. I can't believe I'm eating this on a boat. Yo, this is delicious. Yo. It's like the best broth ever. Is it a pork broth? Yes. With pork balls and pork butt. So you got balls and butt in your soup? Balls and butt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could get used to this. Are you sweating, JP? Yeah, but I do love the food here. It's got so much flavor. I don't know if it's chili pepper or humidity. Woo. All right, space buns. That was fun. She's so kind, she knows that our faces are burning off from the spicy noodles. So she's getting us some coconut ice cream. Thank you. The only way to eat coconut ice cream is out of a coconut. This is genius, it actually acts as insulation too. Oh. All right, we're going in the car. Goodbye, market. All right, guys, we made it to the night market. As you can tell, it's nighttime. That's why it's called a night market. Wow, they're official. They have Facebook. All right, the exploration continues. I need to smell things, get a good solid whiff so we can get hungry again. Uh, the rice ball thing that I tried to make. Oh yeah. Poof for me. Please. Please poof. We got the poof. You wanna try it? Sure. So it's a pandan one. This one is um like original one. I got two balls. Mm. Whoa, I didn't expect it to be so soft. I thought it was gonna be crunchy like a potato chip. <gasps> There's something inside. How'd you get it in there? What's inside? Is it a salted egg? Is it a yolk? Is it a kinder egg? It's a soybean. Whoa, that is amazing. Mm. I really want you to check this one out. It's a raw crab meat. All right, Julia, we're not going to be judgmental, but grab the prettiest crab. Okay. I was eyeballing the fried chicken while Julia was eyeballing the raw crab. All right, it's confirmed. Fried chicken's universal because it's delicious anywhere. Oh, boy. That's good. Wow, she's going right in. Julia loves raw food. You're missing out, JP. It's like, really like citrusy. It's like ceviche. It is. I love how great. Do you want to try a bit of the sauce? Ooh, it hit the nostrils. Crabs raw. I didn't even know you could do that. If you like curries, I recommend you to try this one with the noodles. Curry with crab. Damn, that's delicious. Oh my god. 
I always think of Indian food when I think of curry. And this is not Indian. What's this? Chicken bumps. Chicken bumps? Bumps. Bumps? <laughs> oh, the butt. butt. Oh, Julia, do you want to eat chicken ass? I'll eat butt if you eat butt. You have the left cheek, I'll have the right cheek. And then we'll have Vicky meet in the middle. Yeah, you get you get the middle butt. <laughs> is, is that the butthole? <laughs> this is a sticky rice that we normally have with um, crew meat. It's got three textures going on. Fatty, chewy, tender, crispy. You just said four things. Let's see if Julia likes it. Eat the whole thing, put it all in your mouth. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> okay, that's all yours. I want grilled cheese. All right guys, we are trying the uh, famous rainbow grilled cheese because why not? Look at see everyone surrounding, they all wanna see. This is what we need to do on our YouTube channel, Julia. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's super stringy already. I love colors. There it is. Oh my good, wow. Nothing like spitting up a rainbow. And I'm just excited that my picture is going to be at this stall forever now because I may be the person that has the longest cheese pull. Oh yeah, this is my type of street food. Oh wow, that's the burger meat? That's how they do it? They ladle it on? Look at it, Jules. It's got like a batter. That's not a... Is that a burger? That's not ground beef. Whoa, look at this chicken. So those are snails over there, right? Yes. And you haven't tried the uh, mango sticky rice and durian sticky rice before. Everyone knows how much I like durian. <sighs> <laughs> oh. So normally we add uh, coconut milk when we have it with um, mango and the durian sauce when we have it with uh, durian. I'm, I'm getting a whole new appreciation for rice and coconut from this trip. All right, now the durian. Maybe prep him a mango bite. You don't like durian, so. Well, no, no, I don't. Um, it's it's exactly how I remembered it. Everybody's looking at me. It's not my thing either. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> hey, look, Joe's little cute little devil guy. That's what healthy junk food should look like. So when you guys come to these street markets or these night markets, you can get. Clothes are very inexpensive. Julia loves the deal, guys. JP, do you want to get a new t-shirt? I think Julia wants buffet. She's still hungry. <laughs> Bugs. And I wanted to try like a very, very tasty pork. It's a pork neck. Yeah, it's like jerky. I like the neck of the pig. This night market, just like the freaking other market we were at earlier, never ends. All right, this is hot gra pao. It's a minced pork with a uh, basil leaf. Ooh, oh, JP, this is spicy. Oh, this flavor's on. I will say that the spice is kind of creeping in right now. Look, the pork is super tender too. Like every little piece of it, you bite into it, it just like sinks into your teeth. All right, let's try the crab curry. Or with the noodle, it's good. This is awesome. I have a new appreciation for crab. Spice, lime, lemon, spice. Basically, all Thai food after this trip. Do it as the Italians do. Get a little bit of this noodle, spin it around. Is this it? Is this our last meal? It is. I, I find that kind of odd. I think that after 27 meals, we should have 30. Just have like a round number, you know what I'm saying? No, honestly guys, this was probably the most in-depth experience I've ever been on. The most in-depth journey of food. We're in Thailand for a short period of time, so I really, really appreciate Vicky taking on us the most elaborate, most extensive, most eclectic food tour I've ever been on. But if you guys want to see Vicky again, make sure you head to the link in the description. She has an Airbnb tour that is so fully extensive. I hope you guys get to experience what we got to experience today and that you can vicariously live through our experiences here at JP and Julia. So much food. So much camera footage. So much JP sweating. Yes. So much. <laughs> and just shows how real this spice really is here. Okay, say bye.
Bye.